All right, so if you're having issues with the volume buttons on your Android device, there are two apps that I'm going to be showing you in this video that will be able to help you out to always have access to your volume buttons. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be using this app. This app doesn't stay on your screen the whole time, but it's just for people who wish to quickly access the volume, like volume slider. So you can just bring this app to your home screen and whenever you are trying to adjust your volume, you just quickly tap your home button, tap this button over here. And you can see that the volume button or the volume slider has appeared so from here i can adjust the volume as much as i want and this is for people who just want to be able to easily or quickly like maybe you are browsing you want to increase or decrease the volume you quickly tap the home button and you tap this this app and then you can adjust your volume so that's the first method so the second method involves another app and um, i'm going to show you guys how to set it up both apps will have a link to them or both of their apps will have their links in the description all right so this is the second app and this one will give you a permanent button on the screen so that you can adjust your volume so i'm going to open the app all right so the first thing is asking us is for permissions to overlay so this means that um it wants to be able to have the buttons on top any app you may be using just tap overlay and depending on your phone just tap the app, it is called assistive volume button. So tap on it, and then you tap display over other apps. Just tap this to enable it. And as you can see over here, there's this button. This is the volume button. Now, you can stop here, it's fine. But um, for me, I like to customize things. So first, you can decide where you want the, the button to be. If you want it to be on the left or on the right, you can bring it down or up. The app is free, but there are some things that you have to pay for if you want to do like extra customization. So we're going to start from the top. You can activate this, tap allow, so that the app is always going to have its icon up here. This plus icon is for this volume button app. And um, it's just a way to keep it present on your phone so that your phone doesn't like close it, like doesn't stop it from working. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, there's another option here. If you tap on it, it's going to show you how to stop your phone from like first closing the app so for now i'm just going to leave this one i don't think it's really necessary all right so next this button is a way for you to hide the volume up and down button so if i tap on this you see that they are gone and now they are back so that's just it okay so next we're going to style the app and uh, i like this style but if you want you can go for other styles and see this one if you want to increase the volume this is what it looks like um, this one is also here this one looks a bit simpler and minimalistic so there are other options you can try if you want so these ones that have like a crown you have to pay for them to use them so if you can't afford the app then just use the free ones so for this tutorial i'll be using this one now we have the button the button settings so i'll tap here and uh, you can uh, adjust the transparency if you want it to be transparent or if you don't want it to be transparent um, i like it being very visible or maybe you can do it halfway around 50 percent transparency you see that um, the buttons are now transparent you can go even more as long as you remember where the buttons are then you should be able to easily access them you can increase their size or decrease the size 69 <laughs> nice uh you can increase the radius or decrease the radius if you want the buttons to be like square let me reduce the transparency you can see if you want the buttons to be squared off then you can use this slider over here i like them round so i'll leave them that way you can increase the distance between the buttons so let's try that i think this is okay and then you can see this one has a crown so i'm using the free version of the app so i i'm not I'm not going to be able to use this one next you can change the colors so i like red so i'll go for red so now this the plus and the minus are both red you can also change the background color you can see the background color here is white so you can change that if you want but it looks okay like this and if you don't want to be able to move like if you don't want the button to move then you can tap here to fix the position so now if i try to move it it's not going to move it's only going to like adjust the volume so i would recommend you switch this one off 
so that in case something is hidden like behind these buttons you can always drag the button to see what's behind so when you're done you can bring them back okay finally you have the system volume bar this is just you know as we are tapping this this is the kind of volume bar you're seeing if you activate this you see now it is the system default volume bar which uh, i don't really like it so i'm going to deactivate it okay so we can go back now and we have one other option that we can play around with the rest are premium options so we can't play with them until we pay for the app so we tap here it's just about the slider so if i tap here this is the slider what i'll do for this for this uh, section of the video is just change the color of the slider so i'll tap here and then I'll change it to red. So you see the slider has a red color instead of a blue one. And also the, the dot or the thumb color, I can change it as well to red. And now it looks, yeah, it's a bit better in my opinion. So you can play around with it, choose the color you want. And, and that's it. After you're done, you can go back to the home page. And you can see the volume button is here. If I tap here, you can see that, uh, yeah, I have my volume button. I wish I could play some music for you, but I don't have any copyright free music. It's just to show you guys how good the volume button is. But uh, yeah, it works. I've tested it and I, I, I believe you like it too. All right, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed and uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.